G'day folks, this is Shane. Today I'm installing some strap locks on my guitar. I actually picked up four packs. These are inexpensive. They're from a brand called XTR. I hadn't seen these until today. They kind of look like the shellers with just a little bit of a twist on one particular section. And I like the shellers, so I thought for the price these were nice and cheap. I'll put links in the description. I thought I'd give them a go and see what they're like. Now, I've got a couple of favorite straps that I tend to move around on my guitar. So what I'm planning on doing is having one strap between my tally and my strat so I can just intermix them and this will just make the process a whole lot easier and it'll save me using those little plastic things that I've been using for years. I went out and actually purchased these so if they're crap I'm gonna tell you to stay away from them so I've got my receipt if this particular pack is crap I'll take back the other three sets and get a pack of something else so we'll see what they're like let's do it. So the first guitar we're gonna do is this Telecaster it's my 52 reissue and it's back to pretty much being my favorite guitar along with my PRSSE. And because of that, I want to actually put some really good strap locks on. I've had this guitar for 10 years, or almost 10 years at least. And that's about eight years. And I should have done this a long, long time ago. So we're going to see it, hopefully if these particular strap locks just fit in to the holes that these ones leave. So I'm actually just going to take out the other one. I know it's off camera. So I'll just fast forward maybe through this. All right, so there we go. As you can see, I've got both of them out. They both look identical, which is good. So in terms of the screw size, now this is the new pack. Let's open these up. Let's see if they're actually any good. First impression is they actually feel pretty good, but let's see if they actually work or not. Now, the cool thing with this is you just pull these up and you can release the actual strap. I'll show you that up close. And then these just go straight in. So, yep, the threading is pretty much the same. Now, if you find that the threading isn't, isn't as wide on the actual strap locks, basically you can fill the hole with some toothpicks and some wood glue, let it dry and then just screw them in and they'll never move. Now, if I feel like I need to tighten this up, I'll do that but so far so good. Now that's actually a Phillips head screw bit on the end here, but I'm using the flat head because it fits. <laughs> but I'm having a feeling I'm gonna have to grab the other screwdriver in a sec. Yeah, all right, I'll be right back. All right, that is in. That is absolutely not moving anywhere. And then this side goes on the strap and I think these are gonna be fine. So let's put the other one on. All right, here's the rear of the electric guitar. This one goes in here. And this time I'm actually gonna use the right screwdriver. These screws are a little bit longer than the ones I took out as well, which is a good thing because it saves me basically having to pack the hole. There's gonna be enough you know, grip because it's going further into the wood. So that's great. And that is definitely not moving anywhere. I don't need to do anything else to that, which is great. Now, probably like most of you, some of you, or none of you, <laughs> I have a couple of my favorite straps. I've had this one for years. It's super soft leather. I love this thing. And this is the one that I generally put both on my Strat and Tally and go back and forth between. So this one is gonna be the one for this particular Tally and my Strat will also do that as well. Make sure that they work. So the way this works, let me just adjust the camera. Now to set this up, it couldn't be more simple. Simply take the strap lock, put it through from the back to the front first. And what I like to do is have this particular thing facing upwards from the bottom of the strap or from the top, whichever way you're looking at it, it doesn't really matter. As long as it's facing that way, you're laughing, then you can simply put on the mag wheel that it comes with, which I actually think looks pretty cool. And then this goes on the top, and then we tighten it up. Now, you can grab a wrench or a spanner or something, whatever you call them in your country, to tighten this even more. But that will do just for the sake of now. I'll probably get a spanner and just tighten that up and that is all. So let's do the other one. 
Now the same thing goes for this side right here as well. It's nice and simple. Do exactly the same thing. Take those off. Put that through so it's facing back up as well. Just to start with, you can play around with it if you need to, but I always find that kind of works for me at least anyway. Put the top on and then screw this little guy in. And hopefully I can, it's not flush. Come on, there we go. That was just my own lack of coordination. And there we go, so that will do. Let's see if this thing actually works now. So the trick is, well, there is no trick left. Nah, there's only one trick left. If basically you find like the angle of this needs to be adjusted, you can do that, but um, yeah, that should be about it. So these should just click straight on. I'm gonna put this on and move my microphone. Tension is really, really good. They feel exactly like my shallow tuners. Uh, whether or not they last that long, we'll find out, but the tension is great. Nice quick release. Oh, actually, yeah, you gotta sort of, you gotta pull them out quite a ways to get them off. So that's actually really awesome. That means they're gonna be more reliable. So that's great. I'll show you up close how it works. So this particular one, all you gotta do is pull this out, pull it down. There you go, as you can see, I've got it facing up because that's the way that it sits in and it also, gravity will hold it in place better. And same with this back one, gravity's kinda gonna lock it in. You can see that the actual strap is more on an angle this way. I could turn that a little bit, but that's gonna be fine. Just from experience, I won't have any problems with that right there, so nice and simple. So I'm gonna do the same thing to my strat. Now on the strat, there's this fluffy piece of cloth that goes in between the screw and the actual body. So I'm gonna keep that and put that on. Now I don't wanna get these confused, so Telecaster and I'll put the strat over here. Now, let's open another box. I think these are gonna be pretty good. Like I said, they're nice and cheap. About a third of the price as some of the other ones that were in the store. And I thought, I'll give these a go. I'm always up for finding bargains that don't break the bank that are actually good. This little fluffy thing, I'm gonna put on the screw first. Doesn't really matter which way we do it. It's still gonna go on there anyway. And then, uh, yeah, the tension's already good. So I'm gonna start with the wrong screwdriver first because that's the way I roll. And then if I need to, which I probably, I'm starting to feel like I already do, I'm gonna need the other screwdriver. Now the only reason I'm using this one over the actual proper one is because it was hitting the neck before, just because the other screwdriver is a little bit too large. So let's keep going with this. Hopefully it allows me to, to get this in. Tension's already started, so I'm kind of creating new threading in the wood while I strip the thread on the actual thing there. I'm sure everyone will comment on that. <laughs> there we go. All right, we are done. I'm pretty sure that's in. Yep, that is in. So it'll work fine on a Fender Telecaster, a Fender Mexican Stratocaster. It will just go straight in, which makes it easy. No other mods that you need to do. And the cool thing is, being that these particular screws are just that little bit thinner, if you go back to the old ones, they're gonna screw straight in. It's gonna be awesome. So these are longer but thinner. The other ones are slightly wider and shorter. It's perfect. So let's do both. And the great thing, like I mentioned before, about having a strat and a tally with the same strap is the fact that you can just switch and they'll feel both guitars will sit in exactly the right place. That's why I love these guitars and why I thought this would be a really cool option. So I'll take these off. The tension on these things is great. I really, I'm really impressed. Actually, I didn't know how good they'd be, but now I know they're actually pretty good. Click. So when you put them on, you don't have to do anything other than just slide them on and they kind of click into place. So that is nice and simple. Move my mic and it sits exactly where it should. 
Now I don't have to be actually paranoid about dropping my guitar. <laughs> awesome. Thanks for watching guys, my name's Shane. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give the thumbs down and let me know why. As always, there's gonna be a million people telling me how I could have done this differently, so if you have some suggestions, also comment below. Don't forget to subscribe and also click that little bell for future notifications from my channel. And if you wanna see other great deals you can get online, check out this playlist. I'll pop it up in the cards and you can check that out. Thanks again for watching guys, catch you soon, see ya.